Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Trouble Brock. And we lost! We left off. Hans has gone from being trapped in a sanatorium to being trapped deep down in a mine. Though it doesn't seem like it would take that much effort to reach this ledge and walk back out. Hans doesn't want to walk out, however. He believes that Gretchen is further in, and there's a light coming from this tunnel. If only the tracks hadn't rotted away, we could have used our rocket-powered minecart contraption to hoo-hoo our way all the way to our objective. But as it stands, we're gonna have to improvise, and we have a decent amount of stuff. We still have the coin, and we have a pickaxe. And speaking of the coin, it's time to see if it unlocks anything awesome. Also, we can use the pickaxe here. This pickaxe is probably the only tool around here that could be useful to me. Ah, is this a way to get rid of items? Ah, we can wish for something. I wish this wishing thing would actually work. And down it goes, and we gained an achievement for that, which means we're bereft a coin. Now, what can we interact with. We haven't interacted... Ooh, there's this. Completely kaput. Ah, well. Phew. Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. Indeed! Thanks for addressing the fourth wall there. There's also this cogwheel. Darn. My attempts at resourceful engineering have not withstood the test of time. We've already examined it, but we haven't done anything with it, and now that we have the pickaxe, we may be able to salvage that cogwheel. There we go! One cogwheel attained. Now, what are we going to do with that? Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. It's such an important lesson! We're going to say it twice, so... Ooh! We can pickaxe this. Let's do so! Don't ask where he kept that. Why don't you give adventure game protagonists a resourceful like that? Also, I recognize some of those sounds. Okay, did that do anything? It seems to have. And I bet we can't turn this without using an item. This valve is missing its rotary handle. Indeed! Had to remind myself of the problem, and we have the solution! Kind of. Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved in this puzzle. Oh, I see what you did there. There you go. Water, march. And now... we... Wait? I think this is where we wait. Because we're slowly flooding the cave. This probably isn't a good thing, considering we're going to be moving further into this cave. And this is when you have to wait ten minutes in-game for things to happen. Is he going to do anything there? We can... Again, we can try doing those things. That's not going to do anything. But we'll give it a try, just in case something different occurs. I've heard that cave fishing is a thing, but I'm really not in the mood right now. Also, did you notice that his foot nearly went off the edge? Imagine if suddenly we'd have fallen and gone, Aah! and dead. We might have to wait a while. Because really, we uh, don't have much else we can do. I mean, we can look at this, we can... Oh! Oh! Hello! An interesting rock formation. It doesn't look too solid. Indeed not! Help! Yeah, that's not gonna work. You know what is gonna work, though? Throwing something! Whoop! Aha! And here comes the water! And a platform! 
in the form of the minecart. Excellent! The water level has risen. Yes! The obvious has been stated. Also, we can look at the water now. The water level has risen. Yep. Also, we can try fishing again. I've heard the... Nope. Nothing different there. I knew I shouldn't have skipped Aunt Lottie's swimming lessons. Ah, uh, that's your failing. But you know what? We could still use this to get over. Hopefully. Not sure it needed that much of a dramatic build-up. But, you're making it over. And then all you need to do is climb the remnants of the rails. Yep, let's go. And up we go. Tannhauser and Gretchen finally reunite. Hooray! She's gonna wonder where oh, we- You finally made it. I almost thought you'd never come. Look at you, covered in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Uh, I don't have to answer that. Anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time. They sure have big doors around here. It looks like they really wanted to make sure there was no trespassing. Oh, wow. There's a lot to look at here. Actually, there isn't a lot to look at here. There's the rope and a few other things. Let's look at the rope. There's going to be a light mechanic to this puzzle, isn't there? We need to get that door open. Did you actually rappel down? Of course. How else? Also, no um, subtitle there. Let's look at the screen. Maybe this is some kind of activation device. Let's give it a look. Could also talk to you at some point. And again. Again? What did we get wrong? For it to be again. I've been thinking. Ooh. What if it wasn't meant to keep someone out, but to keep something in? Let's find out. That's a dangerous line of thinking. Also, certain things are not being highlighted because we can't see them. Also, let's record about this. Beverly, for a moment I thought I was a goner. Now that I've been able to escape this compromising situation, Gretchen and I are standing in front of a gigantic steel gate. I'll get back to you with more details. Okay, let's talk. You probably got a lot to talk about. Wow. Congratulations. I think you found your ritual site. I don't think so because this looks very modern. I was abducted, imprisoned, and scrutinized by a mad scientist, among other things. You must have bumped your head too hard. No, no. For real, there is an old sanitarium down this valley. I thought no one's lived there in ages. There's at least one so-called scientist. He conducted a wide range of crazy tests on me. Tests? Yes, he had me talk about colors and answer personal questions. Tenhauser, are you sure you haven't suffered some sort of brain damage? How do I know? That's a good counter? I found your camp outside. Yes, I waited for you. But since it took you so long, I couldn't resist going ahead. Enough talk. Let's find a way to open this monstrous gate. Okay. So, we have this here. Let's look at it. What's that over there? You're not gonna believe this. These are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to... <clears throat> Be gone, stranger, for all you may find here is certain death. Look, this seems to have activated one of the lights on the vault door. You see that afterglow? In 
Interest. Oh, hello. What's that over there? Interesting. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Is this a graffito? Down here. In any case, it's hard to decipher. Are you seeing that hexagon there as well? No idea. You've got the door open already? Interesting. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort of photonic reception, perhaps. Now that is... Ooh. Any ideas? Oh, that is interesting. There's another one. What's that over there? Just a crack in the wall. Oh-ho! Game's throwing some curveballs at me. So Gretchen's gonna focus on certain things. We have graffiti there. We have Germanic runes there. Could you point the light in this direction? What's this? Ah, interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to path of no return. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Did you notice that other little light turning on? Okay, there's also something here. Please light up these symbols. Wow, these look like Neolithic cave paintings. Who would have guessed? A group of stickmen fallen asleep around some sort of hexagon. Tenhauser, this is sensational. Fallen asleep? There, there another light. It might be dead. Also, if we do this... Maybe this is some kind of activation device. And we then... If we use this now, will that actually... Solve the puzzle? I doubt it. I bet we've got the comp... I don't get it. Open sesame! And... Again. Okay. I have a theory. Ooh. There's other stuff here. Can I get a light here? No, nothing. Okay, nothing there. What about here? Could you point the light in this direction? What about here? Hmm. Just a shadow. Ah, <laughs> games are throwing me curveballs with random things. I bet that's nothing What's too. What's that over there? I bet that's nothing. Only a flock of bats. Or is it a swarm? A herd? A gaggle? Right. I think I know what we need to do. There's a chronology to the things here. I don't think there's any other, like, runes or anything. No, there isn't. So let's do this. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? That's the first one. That's one. Okay. Then... The... Hmm... Latin? Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. Bet we've got to put the one in the top right corner before the Latin one. Well, we'll find out. Could you show me that ruin thing again? There we go. That's that one. Also, like the music here. Very calm, very soothing. So this one now. Can we take a look at the graffito again? And finally... The switch? Oh. And... again. Okay, we got these in the wrong order. And there's no other ones that... Is that one there? What do you make of this? Oh! Weird. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. Oh. This pictogram on the left could mean door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Doesn't that spark your curiosity as well? 
um, it also makes me very worried. Also, we now know where that is, so. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? Cave paintings? And then the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Please point the light to the hieroglyphs again. There we go. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. We we need to start again. Because that was highlighted as the first thing. Yep, it's wrong. And again. I think we're there. I think we have to do these in order of chronology. Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? Here we go! That's the first one. And now a test on if I know the order of historical civilizations. Please point the light to the hieroglyphs again. Also, why are there hieroglyphs here? That's an interesting question. Why are there hieroglyphs? Okay, next we have the Roman. Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. Specifically Latin. There we go. That's the third one. Now we do the Germanic runes. Could you show me that ruin thing again? And then the graffito. And that should be all of them? That's my hope anyway. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Have we done it? Now there are five lights. What does it mean? It means we can get in. That's what it means. This looks promising. This cave has obviously been visited by explorers for millennia. Isn't it strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? And whoever built this gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the right set of knowledge could open it. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writings. They literally left the coat on the wall. In case of an emergency? Oh! Remarkable. We're in! Ooh! Yes! I like this effect. Also, I'm pretty worried about what we've just done. Just a little. Yep, just step it in without fear. This is gonna go terribly wrong. Also, bird song. It's been there the whole time. Tannhauser and Gretchen make a discovery. Oh, well, that's ominous. Let me find the light switch first. Oh, so what do we have? Uh, Gretchen and a light switch. Any idea? I wonder who or what's behind all of this. Me too. That's probably a light switch. It's not a light switch. But we're using it anyway. Let's take a look around. This is exciting. Ooh, spinny thing. Did you see that pretty large particle accelerator? Wow. Particle accelerator? Any idea? I wonder who or what's behind all of this. Ooh, this room has a lot of things we can look at, and a lot of things we're gonna take, like this. Don't get hit by that. I'd rather not come too close to this killing machine. Ah, yes, you're a little afraid of this. Hmm. Something is wrong with the engine powering the solar system. As if the universe was out of balance. Ooh, ominous foreshadowing. Also, let's record about this. We're a place where we won't get hit. I stumbled upon an impressive model of our solar system, yet curiously, it displays our nine planets in disorder, as if there was a disturbance in the interstellar balance. Much like an event known to the ancient Greeks as ekpyrosis, the catastrophic imbalance of the universe. Whether this is a foreshadowing of things to come, or the device is simply broken, I cannot say. To be honest, it's hard to say if it means anything at all. Now normally, this would be a, there's no meaning to this, but 
this is a point and click adventure game, there is something super, super ominous going on. Also, newspaper! That can be good for finding out information about when this place last functioned. Also, hidden thing there. We'll go and get that next time for when we come back, folks! A strange facility that appears to have some pretty advanced tech in it. I wonder what experiments were conducted here. I also wonder if this is going to function. Doesn't look like it should, but I bet it does. Also, look at all the particles in the air. This place probably hasn't been opened for quite a while, which makes me wonder what happened to all the people here. These are the people that bought the mine out, aren't they? Why? Hmm. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.